If one adorns oneself with the qualities of Buddhahood, one will attain a splendid body of felicity. If one attains a splendid body of felicity, one's body will be radiant as a mountain of gold. If one's body is radiant as a mountain of gold, it will be adorned with the thirty-two marks of distinction. If one is adorned with the thirty-two marks, one will be adorned with accompanying refinements. If one is adorned with accompanying refinements, the light of one's aura will be unlimited. If one's aura light is infinite, one will be adorned with inconceivable light. If one is adorned with inconceivable light, that light will produce lotus blossoms. If the light produces lotus blossoms, innumerable Buddhas will sit on the blossoms, appearing everywhere in the ten directions, able to pacify all sentient beings. One manifests infinite mystical powers. If one manifests infinite mystical powers, one dwells in inconceivable lands, expounding inconceivable teachings, gladdening inconceivably many beings. If one explains inconceivable teachings, gladdening inconceivably many beings, then, with wisdom and power of elucidation, one guides in accord with beings' minds. If one uses wisdom and powers of elucidation to guide in accord with beings' minds, then one will never lose action guided by wisdom. If one never loses action guided by wisdom, then one's willpower will be sovereign, and one will appear physically in any state of being. If one's willpower attains the freedom to manifest a body in any state of being, then one will be able, when teaching, to accord with any language inconceivably. If one can, when teaching, adopt any language according to the congregation, then one will instantly know all the minds of all sentient beings. If one can instantly know the minds of all sentient beings, one will know afflictions arise from nowhere and will not sink and drown in birth and death. If one knows afflictions come from nowhere and will never drown in birth and death, then one attains the body of the essence of truth and appears in the world by the power of truth. If one attains the virtuous body of the essence of truth and appears in the world by the power of truth, one will attain all the stages and freedoms of enlightenment, practice the ways of transcendence, and be supremely liberated. If one attains the stages and freedoms of enlightenment, practices the transcendent ways, and is supremely liberated, one will attain the great spiritual powers of the anointed and abide in the most supreme meditations. If one attains the great spiritual powers of the anointed and abides in the most supreme meditations, then, in the presence of the Buddhas, one will be anointed and ascend to that rank. One will be anointed with the elixir of deathlessness by all the Buddhas in the Ten Directions. If one is anointed with elixir by the Buddhas of the Ten Directions, one's body will be all-pervasive as space, abiding at rest, immovable, filling the Ten Directions.